Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Cayman Haven. I'm back with part two of Hellblade uh, Senua's Sacrifice. So we're just gonna continue where we left off the last time, and I'm just gonna choose the first door on the left. We'll go from left to right. So here we are. Let's move right along. The first part of this playthrough was awesome. I really enjoyed it. And I cannot wait to dive into this world that Ninja Theory has created. It's an incredibly beautiful looking game. Which I'm surprised because apparently this is not a big studio game. So uh, apparently this is like a triple A indie developed game. So it's very impressive. Trust your eyes. Find another way to see the truth. Apparently there's another way out. I don't know where, but... What's that? It's a door. Oh. No, it's not. Push it. Push it. Push it. Come on. Okay, we're just gonna push this. Come on. Push it. Did it. Did it. Did it. Yeah, these voices. Okay, we have to go look for some clues now. Oh, there we go. All right. For some reason, the door was open. It's funny. We all want to see behind the veil, don't we? But once we do, we mostly just close our eyes again and pretend what we saw was never really there. Okay, let's climb out this set of stairs. We're looking for Valerian or something like that. Is the name of the person that. I wonder if he's a god that we have to slay in order to get this door open. Alright. Time to open the door. Ooh, creepy. I think we're gonna be fighting some enemies here. This is the price she pays for seeing things differently. Because once you gaze into the relentless darkness, all that lurks within it can see you too. Holy shit! I'm so scared! Yep, let's fight. It kind of sucks that you can't fight when you're busy exploring. Because I want to be able to train myself, you know? Yeah. Yeah! Let's get it! Ooh! Ooh! Come on! Come on! Come on! Yeah, she's nearly dead. Okay. Oh, yeah, cut him! Cut him! Kick him! Yeah, I'm... Oh, no, no, I got shit that time. Alright. Well, I'm loving the combat, though. Come on. Ooh. Oh, yeah! Yeah, yeah, yeah! Yeah! Come on, cut him. Cut him. I'm constantly... Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, oh, shit. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, I'm loving the combat, but man, you gotta let me practice, man. Stop her. She will find what she's looking for. Could I have done that better? Maybe. But this game is not allowing me to practice, which is annoying. See another mark on the wall. 
Val Raven's power of illusion comes from ravens. Align the ravens to break his magic seal. Show me what you have seen, Truth. Look how much it's changed. Mm -hmm. Don't see a symbol anywhere. I do see an open door, so I'm just gonna wait. What? All right, let's go through the open door. And can you go here? Look, I just climbed this part here because. I could. I didn't even bother to check. To break the seal, align the ravens with the mark of Oh, Ooh, there we go. Some of these puzzles aren't exactly, you know, groundbreaking, but it's an indie developed game. What, what can you expect? You know. I've heard that this game is about, you know, six to seven hours long. It's like Pretty good. Passing into another world that looks the same but feels different. An imposter world. Where the forest itself is watching. Okay, where are we going? Let's go. Another game. Yes, I know what to do. To break the seal, align the ravens with the mark of Valraven. Yeah, I think it's over there, so which means... Which ravens? Can't you see them? Here. Align the ravens. I have to climb up there. I hear something. If you hear the soul of Van Raven, follow it and it will lead you to him. But be aware of his illusions. You can't always trust your eyes. That's a boss fight already? kind of like free flowing here because I don't really know where I'm going or what I'm doing but let's do this let's go scary like me Who make it back are forever changed. How can she get out? It must be magic. Dog magic. A trick. Valraven tricking her. Valraven. Okay, How what do we do? Bait. It's him. Dark magic draws her closer. It's not him. He's helping her. It's 
It's not him. It's a trick. She's doing it on her own. He's not tricking her. It's magic. It's an illusion. I love these voices in their head a little bit. They remind me of the ladies in uh, in Mad Max Fury Road. In Mad Max Fury Road, Furiosa was transporting a bunch of women. I believe there's a name for them, but I can't... Yeah, I can't think of their name now at the top of my head, but uh, basically the way the voices sound reminded me of the girls in that movie where they were like kind of speaking gibberish a little bit and whispering in your ear and being a little coy and playful. Come on! Okay, apparently there's a platform now, which is good, because this platform wasn't there before. All right. Oof. Okay. I'm glad we solved that because uh, some of these puzzles, you know, I'm a little bit like. I'm really not sure what's going on. The puzzles are not very... very fun to do. And I wish... it could run a little bit more because the character's kind of slow. No picture fade. And we think of a shadow in the woods. A creature in the night. If only it were that simple. The worst kind comes without warning. A deep and primal signal from within. A reminder that just because you cannot see the threat, it doesn't mean that it's not already here. Okay. This game is kind of annoying me a little bit because... Like, I just want to get to the next point and they keep throwing this obstacles at me from getting to the point of game that could be interesting and I'm still trying to like figure out if any of this is gonna pay off in any significant way I hope it does oh shit to work in conjunction with with uh, X. Yeah. 
Stab him, stab him, stab him, kick him. Yeah, I'm nearly dead. Okay. Hmm. All right, Ninja Theory. What are you trying to do with this game? So far, we've fought Emil one type of armed giant, enemy. A being of darkness. And all his sons and grandsons were dark after him. Of his daughters and granddaughters, some were monstrous, but others fair. But there was another who came from the ice. Buri. In shape, he was like a man, big and powerful. His son, Bor, took a fair giant to be his wife. And they had three sons. Odin was the eldest, and the Northmen hold him to be the foremost of the gods, the Old Father. Yeah. I think I would love to see interactions with other characters. You know like to leave everything behind? Your home? Loved ones? deep into the wilds, perhaps never to return. Senua does. Because when darkness speaks, it changes everything. Turning home into a foreign land and loved ones into strangers. Exile makes sense when you realize that you were never really home in the first place. Alright, the, the controls are feeling a little bit clunky, I'll be honest with you, and I don't know if that was intentional, like, if like the controls is meant to mirror the um, psychological trauma that our protagonist is going through, but... <laughs> Okay, how do we get there? The song. Bell Raven. Bell Raven's song. It's over here. It's over here. Is that? It's over there. Look, no, it's here. There's two. Listen, focus the sound. It's Mackie. It's Mackie. This reminds me of something. The forest. Where? Which forest? She went to the wilds a long time ago. How did you go across? She wanted to fight her own darkness. <laughs> she thought she could beat her own darkness. Did she beat the darkness? No. <laughs> it nearly killed her, but she tried. Druth. Druth helped her. If it wasn't for Druth, she'd, she'd be, be dead. dead. She can't beat her own darkness. She wanted to marry Dillian. She came to beat her own darkness and marry a demon. But she it didn't thought, work. She thought her curse would affect him. She thought her curse would spread to him. She thought she'd bring the darkness to him too. She nearly died. She thought the curse made her tainted. Oh Drop shit, I fell. How do I... <laughs> Alright, so I'm experiencing a huge glitch in my game right now and I've completely fallen off into some abstract part of the game. So I broke the game and this is what's happened.
So I don't know if there's a chance for me to restart it, but this is what happened. So Ninja Theory, what do I do here? I don't know. So it looks like I have to back out and try and lock back in. And I'm going to try and continue the game and see if they're going to put me back. Because it seems like I've completely wandered off the grid. And yeah, it's crazy. The song. The rebel. All right, let's take another route. It's over there. No, it's here. There's two. Listen, focus. It's nothing. This reminds me of something. The forest. Which forest? The wild. The wilds. She went to the She went to the wilds a long time ago. She wanted to fight her own darkness. She thought she could beat her own darkness. Did she beat her darkness? No. <laughs> it nearly killed her, but she tried. Truth. Truth. I have no idea how to get to this other side. more to do here. Oh, there's a little hole here. What's this? The Northmen say that Odin and his brother story? and that the world of man was formed from his corpse. They made his bones into stone and his flesh into earth and his blood into the salt sea. They set his skull to be the bowl of the sky, with his brains for clouds. Odin and his brothers caught the sparks flying from Muspel and made them into stars. They used Emir's great curving eyebrows as walls. The ravens. The ravens. They've gone. No. Half of them have gone. They've gone. Some are still there. But where? Well, now we have to remove all these ravens. It's trick. Quiet. I can't think. Out in the wild. In the cold winter woods. Where have they gone? She no longer felt fit for this world. She almost gave into the darkness. Come on! She remembered Dillian's words. She remembered her promise. There's no clue to anything. She resolved to fight on and kill that which had become part of her. Oh, I'm this close to needing a guidebook, I think, for this. Uh, I've got to be honest with you, I'm loving the look of the game and the atmosphere, but I feel like the story and some of the trippy visuals and the things that are happening around Senua is a little too abstract for my taste. I'm a little bit worried, I have to say, about where this game is going. I, I have a feeling that I'm just afraid that I'm not going to enjoy this game because so far the pacing feels a little sluggish. Everything that I'm doing right now feels a little bit of a slog and I'm not enjoying this game as much as I thought I would. If it's going to be like this for the next six hours, I'm t I feel like I'm going to be a little bit worried. The ravens. The ravens. They're gone. They're gone. No. What do I have to do now? Looking back, I was so naive to think she could banish it on her own. The further she saw into the darkness, 
where? The more she struggled to see anything at all. And the glow. The smallest hints of shape. Sounds and thought. Grow in strength until they consumed her whole. Before she knew. The darkness had her in its claws. What the hell? Come on! It's pointing towards the... I'm missing the last puzzle. And I don't really know what to do with the last puzzle. Finally! The gate is open! Open! Yeah, I don't understand why. There is no such thing as victory when it comes to the darkness. It's like it doesn't want to kill her. Yeah. Okay. Will it strike to kill? Will she find Dillian before her time comes? Come on, let's go. I just want to know what's behind that door, man. You know? Open the door. Where is it? It seems like I need to get there. Oh, this game is slow. Speak to me, Drew. Tell me a story. Senua, listen. I will tell you the tale of a man called Findon. The Northmen captured Findon's sister, and his father sent him to pay for her release. But they took his gold, put him in chains, mm -hmm. and held him for a day and a night without food or water. Then they released him. I don't know why. Upon his return, his father's enemies in Erin set fire to his home. His father burnt to death, but his brother was killed. But he escaped with sorrow in his heart. His father's enemies offered redress for his loss and invited him to a feast. It was at a hall near the sea. But when he went there, they betrayed him to the Northmen, who enslaved him and took him to hell. Six years later, his slave masters landed on the shores of Orkney, mm -hmm. burning all before them. And into that fire, Findon made his escape. What was Findon burnt away that day? But from the flames, a new man stepped forward, and Druth was born. Druth. Finden never set eyes on his dear sister again. I, Druth, have found you, Senua. I wish you could have seen my home before these dark times. I'm gonna go through here. I've laid the bridge down. Uh, 
Come on. Alright. Get some balancing act here. Okay, I think we're here. Finally. The gate is open. Open. I know it from the wilds. It's coming back for me. Wake her up! Wakey, wakey! It didn't end well in the wilds. It never does. You think you can overcome the darkness, make sense of it, and once relief settles in, strikes out of nowhere, throwing you helplessly back into the mill. <sighs> I apologize for yawning, but mind and fear. Man. deeper, deeper. Dragging you down so far into the void that maybe this time there is no. What is gnawing away at her? But there, in the darkness, and she remembered what he told her. Hear me. Reach out to me. Senua, take my iron mirror. Look into it, for it is a window into the underworld. Within. You will see the face of the darkness that you fear. And if you focus, like I have taught you to, you will also see that as much as the darkness has you trapped within its veil, it oh, too a beast. is trapped within yours. Focus. 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 Oh, finally. You let me to the wilds. You trapped me there. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh shit, I don't think I can do that. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Stab him, cut him, cut him. Oh, 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 Ooh. Come on! Come on! Oh crap! Come on! Ooh. Come on! Come on! Come him, Come on! Come on! 
step it. Oh no. I'm dead. I'm dead. Wait, 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 Okay. How long is this gonna go? Nice to know that the voices are like helping me as well in a way. Give me a bit of a hint on how to defeat these bears. Oh, come on! Oh, shit. Come on! 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 Cut him down! Yeah! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Cut him! Get 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 him! I won! Yeah! But not this time! Oof. 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 Got him! Yeah! Alright, that was fun, you know, that was fun, yeah! The mark of Valraven. One of the keys to the gate to Helheim. Hold it in your mind's eye. With every battle, the darkness grows stronger. Every victory bringing her closer to defeat. Unfair, isn't it? In those dark winter nights in the wilds, there were times when she considered letting go. If it weren't for truth, a chance encounter in the wilds, she would not have heard his stories of the Northmen. I won. And she would not have this chance to find Dillian's soul. Hmm. I'm coming. We're almost two hours into the game, and we still don't really know who she is. Oh, interesting. The lighting has changed. It's gotten a little bit more colorful, which is good. I'm really loving the look of this actress. I wonder who plays her. She she kind of reminds me of Kaya Scodelario, who was from the TV show Skins and she was in the Maze Runner movies. Um, she has her necks a, a little bit long as well, so. Kind of reminds me of her, but I wonder who this actress is. Shifting faces. After a while, she could see the face of everyone. In the trees. The 
mountains, caves. Looks like we have to make all the way back to. I wonder. Uh, 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 such a long walk. Uh. I do. Once you can see into the underworld, the underworld and all the souls within it will see you. Don't be afraid when they speak to you. I will always be here to guide you. Really? Did you see her? Really? That was her mother, Galena. She was a priestess, a healer. She taught Senua to see the weave that binds the world together. Oh, the frame rate looks and it was a lot better right now. It's going at 60 it frames at the moment. The darkness. But when it did come, it first came for her mother. Senua still sees her face from time to time, hidden in the world. Like she's still watching over. She misses her so much. Not a fan of all this backtracking, to be honest. <sighs> Barely any enemies to fight. It's all just running through these really interesting locations, but. At the same time, it's like... Oh! Who is this dude? Wow! I'm getting better at this! Oh! Oh! Wow! 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 Oh, 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 shit. Oh, shit. I got overconfident. Oh, I died. <gasps> Shit, my hand got darker. Oh, she's got a shield. I'm recovering. I'm recovering. 
girlfriend. Oh, what? What? Oh, I'm against the wall. That was it. So this is the gate that we're supposed to go through. We've just completed one. We got to do a few puzzles that weren't exactly interesting, but at least we've progressed and we've completed a mission on the left door. I'm just going to end it right here. I'll be back with part three as we go through the right door. Hopefully it will be a little bit more fun and we would have a better grasp of the story because at the moment we don't really know much about Senua, we don't really know much about Dylan, we don't know how important he is as a character to her, we don't know how she has acquired her amazing fighting abilities. I hope uh, things will get a little bit more interesting for the next part. So thank you guys once again for watching, I really appreciate the support. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel Cayman Haven. I'll see you guys for the next part. Thanks guys. Bye.